I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Hello YouTube, I'm going to show you me playing The Last of the Survivors on Water Tower. Uh, this is the uh, multiplayer and my loadout is in the first round. The shorty, no large firearm, um, lucky break 3, bomb expert 3 and explosion expert 2. Right, let's see how we're getting on. Oh, Molotov just missed. Not a great start, is it? And obviously, didn't he? Two versus four as well, within less than probably a minute. The thing I like about Lucky Break 3 is a lot of people don't realise just how good it is. If you're a decent player and you have a good score, normally you get like only like one or two items at each supply box and survivors. But with Lucky Break 3, you get a lot of stuff, so you can craft like a mod over a bomb after like two chests. Almost every time. I'm going to try and get it here. I'm last man standing. I'm going to need a bit of luck here. Let's try and run already. Oh, I've missed him with my smoke. Oh, he's stood in some of these bombs. He's stood in one of my teammates' bombs. I've killed him. Let's go for a mortal. Yep, I've got some of the mortal. This smoke bomb just missed me. Let's see if I can get this guy with the bomb. Let's see if he runs in as well. Oh, somebody's rage button that team. He's behind that log. I think the bomb should have him. I've downed him, so it's me versus the last guy. Obviously, I've not executed that guy behind the log, but in terms of it's like a 1v1 because that other guy's done. So I'm just going to upgrade my shorty so it can shoot a wee tiny bit faster in case he's got a shorty. I'm going to just try and bomb this one. There he is there. Couple of shots with a shorty to injure him. Reload as I'm running in and then hit him again. Oh, he's running off. Oh, he stood on my Molotov and. No way. He stood on my Molotov and that downed him. That is Jamie. Was he, did he stand as in or thought it stood in? Because I didn't get the, the, the execution, I just got the down, so maybe he stood in as in or thought. I'm changing my loadout to the revolver, covert training 3, agility 2, and the shotgun, the 4 point shotgun, to the loadout point shotgun. Because obviously I can see my teammates are going to have to probably have to carry this team the whole match and it's a bit easier with the shotgun because if you're last man standing you get two shotgun bullets in the last man standing box. Oh, my teammates have actually got somebody down. Okay, so I'll buy some armour. Obviously I Look at all the stuff I'm being like craft even though I had a good score because of lucky break free. Right, so I'll get a smoke bomb. I don't want to revive this guy just yet because there's a guy using him as bait. So I'll just go to smoke bomb and we bomb it's bit free. Run in and see if I can try and maul it all. Is it in? I got what I'd uh, messed that up there. Right, try and get this guy revived before last man standing comes down here. Right, he's up here somewhere, the last man standing. Let's try and bomb rush him. But my teammates got him. Nah, he is, he's in the way side room. Right, but a teabag him. At the end of the round. Right, so I've got a shotgun loaded now, but obviously I probably should have saved the parts. But at least I've got full armour now as well. Which means that I'm allowed to take a risk. I can bomb rush somebody, even if they're a good player, and try and get them down with a shotgun, unless they get me with a shotgun first. Because this guy's just joined the match, he's a good player this clay so 5 It's a very bomb mission. Boom. Shotgun and... I, probably, I only need one shotgun belt there, but you don't want to take a risk when you're playing against half decent opposition. And that guy is a decent player. I've played on his team and against him before, so I wasn't taking any risks. 
but I can feel his pain, he's just joined the match, he's not got enough parts to compete with the players who have already done well in some of the rounds like me, so I, I'm not aware that I'm a wee bit lucky, because he is a really good player him, and that's what I'm saying, it doesn't matter how good you are at the game, you always need that wee element of luck, let's see I'm last man standing, I've got two bombs, a molly, I can probably craft another bomb or a smoke bomb, and I've got four bullets in the shotgun now as well. Dropped a double bomb there sneakily, hoping one of their players just uh, bomb rushes me, stuns in the double bomb and gets down. They'll probably just blow it up, but it's worth a try anyway because there's only a minute left and there's three of them. Oh, we're both through a Molotov and I just hit him no more. But see, if his Molotov had hit me, it'd mean that'd have been the end of the round. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes, and that's the thing that bothers me. Sometimes you throw a Molotov, it hits a guy directly, and it doesn't die on him. Even if you've got explosion expert too. But so this guy stood in my double bomb. I can't believe it. So I buy armor and bomb rush the last guy. He's in here trying to heal him, I think. So bomb rush him with a shotgun and just pepper him with shotgun. But so he's got armor. Oh. Oh, wasted. Wasted one of the shotgun bats. I only need two, but. Why take the risk when you've got four bullets anyway? And I'm hoping, if I'm last man standing this round, that I would get another two shotgun bullets from the last man standing chest, but we'll see how it goes. Now I like this wee spot, this is always a brilliant spot if you can cover it training free. Because there's always somebody uh, on the other team trying to go for a flank. Not always, but it's a pretty reliable spot. A bit good players will check their corner, so you're looking for somebody who is aggressive but they don't check the corners, let's see if somebody comes in. They normally come in here on the left, right? Oh look, somebody's going right down the middle there, look. I've not seen that for a while. See, look, he's looking down the middle and he's going down the middle in front of me. Interesting. Normally a player like him would come right down that right hand side. Because that's the right hand side for him, but for my side it's a left. Oh, I guess I've got my crash off. Can he be a shove execution? It's the best thing in the game, isn't it? It's addictive. Makes me sound like a psycho, but it's quite a stab something in the neck or something, but it is, it's a real addictive way. Uh, and that's why I love this multiplayer, because there's um there's multiple ways to win. It caters to every kind of play style. Right, so it's me versus that uh, last man standing on their team. So I'm just gonna go for him, because if I win then I'll win the round and win the match. Whereas if I stay back, it's going to be me versus three years versus four the next round, and I'm not looking forward to it. He's throwing a bomb at me. I'll try and get my Molotov, I think. I know he's there, he's behind that wee wall that I see him. Like. That, that Molotov hit him perfectly at the side. Didn't he down him? But then I. Right, I'm going to try and get him with a shotgun. Here we go. See that? He's injured anyway. Well, I got him. Well, there you go, and that's what I'm saying. Got me yelling at the luck and had an almost flawless match. Well, thanks for watching YouTube, and if you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll see you later.